So, uh, better late than never, I guess. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gianluca and I am a final year medical student studying in Canada. I'm also probably one of the least technologically savvy people to have ever been born in the late 90s. And don't get me wrong, of course I use my laptop for things like managing social media, doing my schoolwork, doing research, but whenever I have the opportunity to, I always choose to handwrite my notes and I actually prefer that over using my laptop. So I've never really had a need for an expensive computer setup before or a monitor. That all changed the last few weeks. I'm sure some of you guys have heard about just how time consuming the paperwork side of medicine could be, but for these last few weeks when I was on psychiatry, no word of a lie, I was doing dictations for anywhere between two and four hours per night and I would need to do it on just a single laptop setting which means that I'd have to look up patients information minimize the window dictate it look back at previous notes I can't do it anymore it's wasting way too much time and this career is all about longevity so what we're gonna be doing today finally is putting together a professional YouTube quality desktop setup on a student budget hopefully this helps give you guys some ideas of what you need when you put together your own desktop setup on whatever budget you have. So the first item on the list is going to be the mouse pad. And for the mouse pad, I chose to go with a large one over the smaller ones. This is more of the video game aesthetic, but I love the way that it looks. It was only $20 on Amazon and it's the map of the world design. There's a few different ones. I haven't been doing any traveling at all lately. Just looking at this and trying to plan out future adventures for when I am able to start traveling a little bit more really has me excited. And I also really like the white on black aesthetic with a little bit of the red down in the center here. Now, the second item on my list was a keyboard, and I opted to go with a keyboard from a small little company called Klim, or at least it appears like they're fairly new. I only had a few criteria when it came to my keyboard. The first thing that I needed was a Bluetooth keyboard because I love being able to sit back in my chair and look at a monitor and be able to type without having to be so close to my screen. I also really wanted a keyboard that was gonna light up some sort of colored effect. And this one gives a really good loom to the keys that I find. Um, starts off with blue and alternates in different colors and it gives a really awesome effect when the lights are closed. And then the last thing that I needed with my keyboard, I don't know how to describe this and maybe a few of you understand what I'm saying when it comes to this, but I need a keyboard that makes a good sound. And I found that this one, I was reading in some reviews, just makes great noises when you type it. And to me, that's really important. I don't know. I told you guys, I'm not too good when it comes to technology, but I needed a keyboard with a good sound. Don't, don't judge me in the comments, but this like, that hits all those check marks for me. Hopefully this fits, please fit. Please fit. All right. Oh, that's awesome. Very cool. I dig it. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay, so this part I'm really excited for. The most important part of anyone's desktop setup is the computer monitor, the desktop itself. I chose to splurge a little bit for the desktop. I went with a 27 inch Samsung monitor and you can get some really great deals on this on Amazon. It's a flat monitor. It's not one of the curved ones. Those will run you a little bit more, but from my understanding, I've seen some in person at Best Buy and they look awesome. This one here, nice and big, it fills up every piece of space that I have available and it just barely manages to squeeze in. And I also went ahead and coupled it with a wireless mouse. Because I spent a little bit more on the monitor, I chose to go with a little bit of a cheaper mouse because for most of the time, I'm gonna end up using the trackpad on my laptop anyways. Now to power the monitor, normally what I would be using is my MacBook Air with the M1 chip from the 2020 cycle of the MacBook Airs. But as you can see, this is not the MacBook Air. This is a MacBook Pro. It's actually my girlfriend's MacBook Pro. Quick little story aside from what's been going on with the technology aspect here, but the last two weeks have really not been going my way in terms of just a lot of bad luck. And actually one of my best friends actually broke my MacBook Air with the M1 chip, dropped it and broke it. So while it's getting repaired, uh, my girlfriend was actually nice enough to lend me her computer, complete with her little pink heart background here. But anyways, to link this to the desktop, 
you need an adapter piece. And you could either get one from Apple for like a crazy amount, it's like 60 or $70, or you could get an aftermarket one off of Amazon for half the price, if that. I think this one I got for 25 or $30. And it has the two little chips plugged in that allow me to connect Bluetooth from my keyboard and my mouse. Um, and you would just connect this and attach the desktop components uh, with an HDMI cord that comes with the desktop itself. So what I think is really cool about the MacBook desktop setups, and I think a lot of people don't know this probably, is that number one, when you have the laptop open and the screen open, you could toggle back and forth really easily. You could just grab windows and throw them up on here. And that is what's really awesome about doing consult notes and dictations when you're in medical school and when you're working as a doctor, you could have your patient's information open here from your previous notes while writing the new note here. But the other really cool thing is that if you keep your MacBook plugged in and you close the screen, then this now becomes your primary monitor, even though this is still on here. And just to add the finishing touches to the setup, I will unfortunately need to be changing my girlfriend's wallpaper to that one right there. Guys, this is awesome. This is my first desktop setup ever. And uh, I really, we gotta hide those wires. Don't get me, we'll hide those wires, but that is awesome. So now final tally, final setup. Big mouse pad, costs you about 20 bucks on Amazon. $20 cheap light up mouse, which I actually really like, is super responsive by the way. So I'll link that one too. $40 for a keyboard, which I'm very happy with, especially the sound. Um, a Bluetooth speaker that connects wirelessly to my MacBook, which I've had for the longest time now, but you could probably get one of these most likely for about $40 on Amazon as well. In terms of your computer, I would highly recommend the MacBook with the M1 chip, the MacBook Air, the base model. I have an entire video talking about it and why I think it is the best computer that any high school or college or university student could get. And finally, a monitor of your choosing, this one costing about $180 to $200 on Amazon for a 27 inch flat screen Samsung monitor. This is my ultimate budget, well school budget, back to school uh, desktop setup. And it's my first one and I'm super stoked about it. And today is September 16th. So the GoPro Hero 10 was just announced. And this is what the commercial looks like on my setup. guys but that is going to be it for today's video just something quick try and explain what the new setup is like and how it got there when you see it in a future vlog i should have one more video coming out this week and then a vlog coming out next week talking about what a day in my life has been like in my final year of medical school and uh, spoiler alert totally different than my second year third year is really something else right now but uh, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it through it. And this only took me like two and a half years to put together from being on YouTube. So, you know, um, it's gonna be a big help hopefully going into it. We'll see you guys all in the next one. Everyone take care. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you wanna see more like this in the future. And uh, until next time.